This has to be one of the funniest things I've seen lately. In Fox News, they're now claiming that in Kenya, women cannot vote. Now, I'll show you the video in a second, but I just have to say that a lot of time when you see Western media talk about African countries, most of the times they're just making things up. And this is one of those occasions. Now, let me show you the video of this. Um, and the insularity of these celebrities is so asinine to me. It's so nauseating because these comments are totally delusional, right? So she's talking about like what, what voting rights? Yeah. That we have less voting rights here. What about in Kenya where pregnant women can't leave the house so they absolutely have no constructive right to vote? Or in Oman where women have to vote as their husbands do or Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> or, or risk death, Jeff. Oh, my now, of course, what she said there is completely not true. Absolute and total utter rubbish. Total lies. Now, of course, we're all humans and we all make mistakes and we can all say something that's not true. But when she was told that what you said isn't true and she was told to apologize because she made up a lie about Kenya. Do you think she apologized? No, she didn't. She refused to apologize. She said, I stand by my words. And then she started to cite some fake news that they wrote. Now, this pregnant lady here, she's actually campaigning to be elected. So not only can they vote, they can actually stand for elections. And I wonder if you actually give a map of Africa to this Emily lady, I wonder if she would find Kenya on that map. Now, I do doubt it. I think the only reason why she knows Kenya is because another right-winger made a video about Kenya and Maasai, and he was asking them about transgenders. So I think that's the reason why she knows Kenya. And I think she thinks that all the non-white countries are the same. But this is the reality, like these people are just making things up about the continent and Fox News is not doing anything. They're not saying that, okay, our journalist made a mistake, nothing like that. It's just acting as if it's all normal. Now, I would actually say that Kenya is more democratic than the US, with the US gerrymandering and making voting pretty much impossible. And also, Hillary Clinton, I mean, Hillary Clinton is a war criminal, but she still got more votes than Donald Trump. But Donald Trump still was serving. I don't know what democracy U.S. is talking about. At least in Kenya, the majority wins. I mean, I don't know what kind of democracy it is where the minority is ruling the country. But maybe it's just me. Anyways, I just wanted to share this absurd little clip with you. And I'll see you all on the next one. Thank you very much.